What is going on guys? Flossa here bringing you a relatively short Battlefield 4 video today about the new Dragon Seat DLC which released earlier this morning officially for all premium members. And now that I've kind of, you know, gotten a chance to sit down, play with the new pl weapons, play on the new maps, the new game mode and everything, just to kind of give you guys my first initial thoughts and impressions and just my overall thoughts of the DLC itself so far from what I experienced and uh, yeah. So let me just go ahead and start off by first saying that I am having an absolute blast playing this new DLC. I'm having so much fun. If that's the one thing that I can bring back from my first impressions and sum it up in one word is that it's fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. Now, we know this is, um, for those of you who haven't had a chance to play this, this is a more infantry-based DLC. We have four new maps. We have um, Propaganda, which kind of takes place in this snowy it actually looks like a soviet city but i'm pretty sure that it's still in you know pacific asia uh, area like that like all the other maps um but we have propaganda which is the one that's on the screen now we have pearl market which was the one that was previously on screen which is a very close quarters uh with a lot of verticality kind of in the middle of this chinese market then we have sunken dragon which is takes place in this asian city again and in the center you have a big lake and kind of like a sunken restaurant uh to play around with that you can raise and lower the water level of that and then the final map is lupini lupini gardens i'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. i'm just going to say lupini and um that's more in like this kind of lush next to these railroads really lush gardens kind of oasis type area and the the maps themselves as far as like you know physical appearance goes these are definitely some of the most vibrant and i guess nice to look at maps in the entire game especially you know even considered to the naval strike dlc which i thought that was a really good dlc besides you know the launch rubber banding and stuff that came with it um, but those maps were really nice to look at and these probably top it especially Right here, this is Lupini Gardens. This map is just absolutely gorgeous. It's nice, it's refreshing, and uh, it feels really good. But, uh, yeah, so far I'm liking all of the maps. I'll go into more detail about each map and kind of break them down for you guys later. But uh, probably Lupini Gardens and then Propaganda are my two favorite. Propaganda seems to be a big favorite among everyone playing. And Pearl Market seems to kind of be the weakest length of the maps. And I'll probably agree with that. Pearl Market is pretty chaotic and it's going to take a while to get used to, you know, kind of trying to predicting where your enemies are going and everything else like that. As far as the new game mode, Chain Link, I actually enjoy it quite a lot. I've heard a couple of people say they don't really care for it all too much, and it's definitely only if you're really into the infantry gameplay of Battlefield, but it's kind of this mix on Domination and Conquest where you have to capture certain objective points in a linear path, and whenever you capture two objective points next to each other, it creates a link, and the more links that you have, the slower your tickets will bleed versus the enemy team and it's really fast really fast paced occasionally it can get kind of annoying because a match could literally end within about two or three minutes so it's very hectic very quick um and it has a relatively low time limit in general even if you don't actually bleed out all of your tickets but yeah guys i'm enjoying the maps a whole lot i'm having lots of fun i honestly really enjoy the new chain link um, game mode, and I'll break that down in a different video for you guys later. This is just my general, you know, first impressions and thoughts on the DLC. So far, no rubber banding issues, which was probably the single biggest flaw with the Naval Strike DLC. I really enjoyed Naval Strike DLC um, as a whole, as far as the content that was in it, but it did have quite a lot of rubber banding issues and stuff like that. I've played all of the maps so far on both the new game mode Chainlink and on Conquest, so we'll have to see how good the maps are on the other game modes, but so far for Conquest and um, the new chain link. Chain link actually plays really well in Pearl Market, but Conquest is pretty hectic on that map. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm enjoying them a lot. If you guys have played the DLC already, let me know what your opinions are. Do you like that it's more infantry based? Do you hate it? Do you wish there were more vehicles? Do you just not like this DLC in general? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, stay flossy out there.